Hello, and welcome to our latest unboxing. I'm Eliza. I'm here at the Hatfield Public Library, and I have a box of audiobooks and a small box of, like, adult fiction and nonfiction. So I'm going to go through both of those, and we'll see if we have any matches, which is always fun. I love having a match because then you have the choice, audiobook, book. You can decide. Um, for me, personally, it's often a really hard decision because <laughs> I like both. So uh, we'll start out with this. Match Lisa Jewell, the nice she disappeared. I was an early Lisa Jewell fan, and now she's become like mega popular, um, which is awesome. The last book of hers to come in took me a long time to read just because the copy kept going in and out so fast, I never had a chance to grab it. This is called The Night She Disappeared. Do, 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 do. A beautiful summer night in a charming English suburb. Oh no. Tallulah and Zach head out. For to a bar for the first time since the birth of their in infant son. Um, and then the two don't make it home, and so their mom is trying to figure out what happened. Wow. Wow, that sounds sad because it involves a baby, but also, I, I, I'll still read it. I can handle it. <laughs> At least it sounds like the baby doesn't get hurt, so. Um, Apples Never Fall. We already have two copies of this book, and now we have the audiobook. It's the new Leanne Moriarty. Um, I actually feel like Lisa Jewell and Mor Leanne Moriarty, Moriarty, sorry, trying to talk so fast. I think they're a good pair. If you like one, I would definitely try the other. Another pair in a slightly different vein. Um, this is Lauren Groff's new book, Matrix. She doesn't come out with books quite as often. Um, she wrote Fates and Furies. Uh, and I actually have a few a few other books that I... Oh, she wrote The Monsters of Temple, Templeton and Arcadia. Um, and again, you know, each to their own. I think I actually like those two uh, more than Fates and Furies. So, but she definitely goes in different directions with her books. Um, da, 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 Matrix. Uh, wow, whoa, what does this mean? It says, a timely exploration of the raw power of female creativity in a corrupted world. But what is the book actually about? Hmm, hmm, I, they don't really tell you. It just says, she rides out of the forest alone, 17 years old in the cold March drizzle, Marie, who comes from France. I feel like they're being a, a little cagey. <laughs> they're being a little cagey. <laughs> but that I'm sure there's a reason. And again, an amazing, amazing writer. So oh, a very different direction. No match for this one. Uh, but we have The Reckoning, the new book by Mary Trump, who um, previously wrote the very popular Too Much and Never Enough. And this is subtitled Our Nation's Trauma and Finding a Way to Heal. I have a match for this one, but I don't see it. Maybe the book is already here. Maybe it's coming. They all sort of blur together. But this is James Patterson's The Shadow on audiobook, uh, written with with Brian Sitz. Uh, da 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 da. Uh, oh oh okay. So I actually. I can remember, like, The Shadow, not because I'm old enough to remember The Shadow in real time, but I think I must have listened to some old radio thing or something about The Shadow, but it was like a 1930s um, thriller hero, uh, so now James Patterson is reimagining The Shadow. A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. We also already have this book. Uh, she's the author of The Girl on the Train. That's it for audio, but we have a few more book books. We have Sandra Brown's Blind Tiger. Uh, there she is on the back. Whew. And 1920 comes in with a roar. Prohibition. Da, da, da. A soldier jumping from a moving train lands in a small town where a local woman has gone missing. Nice. It's her thriller, but also historical fiction. Natasha Lester. Riviera House, oh, A Paris Spy, A Secret Code, A Daring Plan. I'm going to guess, oh, yes, <laughs> Paris 1939. Um, it takes place during World War II. We do we get a lot of uh, World War II novels, but I guess they're super, super popular. Um, wow, this is like a very different, this definitely is not uh, just like a, one that we get a lot of. I kind of wish the barcode wasn't uh, over the 
subtitle there, but um, this is called Below the Edge of Darkness by Edith Witter, PhD, and it's about a marine biologist about the deep, deep part of the ocean. Ooh, wow. I wonder if this um, might be for, good for fans for some of those, like the octopus. There was an octopus book, Soul of an Octopus, and then there was an octopus documentary. Um, so if you're looking for more deep sea stuff. Two more books. They're both in sort of a similar vein. Uh, we have Vortex by Catherine Coulter, and it's an FBI thriller. And then we have Bloodless, Bloodless, <laughs> Bloodless, it's hard to say, by Preston and Child, and this is in the Pentagast series. So that is it. I have actually two empty boxes and uh, I'll be back soon with more. Bye.